We are once again on the next four, the city, with our kind of a shiv deck, but it's kind of not there yet. Um, we got a shop here early. I would like to have a shop early. You know I love a shop. Uh, we got an elite campfire up here, though. So that might be where we go. I'm thinking that's where we're going to go. Yep. Uh, we're going to start here and go up this way. I don't know if this is the best thing to do. Oh, God. We got this dude. I'll never get through here with all my 40,000 shivs. Well, maybe we will. He has... Oh, he's got the artifact thing. Alright, the neutralize will do stuff. This costs two. I forgot we had Sneko Eye. I didn't even look at the cost. Alright, this strike is zero. So you want to use that. Uh, We want well-laid plans, I think. I'm not sure how I feel about... This is just going to get knocked off. So I guess we'll just use this thing. I'm not sure how I feel about the Sneko Eye and all of my random card costs. It's going to be interesting, I guess, right? Um, save this for next turn with well-laid plans. Okay. Terror's good. And it costs, like, natural, normal amount. I've got it upgraded, but you know. Okay. So at least we can rely on the shivs. That's not what I want. I want the blur. Give me the blur. Thank you. Give me the def Give me the defend. Like, it's it's got ups and downs. I don't think we can really rely on stuff, though. Uh, we got we got the shivs. We can rely on the shivs. They don't do any damage, of course. Still can't hit this guy. Um, I guess we'll just do this to do it. Um, can't cast any of these cards in turn. If we keep it, does it change its cost next turn? No, it does not. So we would have been better off just throwing it back in the deck. Uh, so, you hit him. Phantasmal Killer costs three. Next turn, your attack still double damage. Is this only for one turn? Maybe I should have read it. <laughs> this one's not going as well as the last one did. Alright, you dagger throw. I'm definitely not using this. This little blade stance. We will eventually get through there one way or another, right? He's going to deal 20 damage. Like gaining three blocks not really going to help with that. We might end up doing it anyway. It's so much damage though. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, I guess we're just going to take 20 on the chin here. Like gaining three blocks not going to help. Um, sure, I'll keep a strike. I don't think that I like the Snack OI. The randomness, it's just not me, I don't think. I don't think I like my Shiv deck right now either. So, you know, that's another thing we can discuss. Alright, this dude's, in theory, dead this turn. Oh, we got the, the zero cost strike plus. Alright, love it. Took 20 damage on the chin there. Alright, you got prepared, which could cost 400 damage. Or energy, or whatever. Um... Sneko Eye. I don't think I like Sneko Eye. This has to be busted though, right? It's four cards, man. Is it better than prepared? I don't know that it is. Are these, are these even cards that are good? Surely they are, right? Acrobatics is like, it sifts through so many cards, it has to be good. Before you lies in the elaborate shrine for a forgotten spirit, upgrade a card. Tate can't complain about that too much, can we? Next turn, your attack still double damage. It costs zero. But that doesn't really help when we got Sneko Eye, right? Okay. Did we just... It's so rough, man. So anything that just changes costs is worthless, right? Well laid plans is worthless with Snack Snack O I too. Did we just upgrade deck? No. Let's upgrade um Well we can't upgrade infant blades. It's already upgraded. Whatever, it's gonna give me two shivs. It's probably decent to upgrade that. I don't know if it's the right call, but it's probably decent. Not these here thieve dudes. 
Okay. You play Cloak and Dagger. You play Blur because it's zero. Of course. You hit these dudes. Alright, so the eyes just throw me off so much, guys. Okay, so what do we discard here? Probably this three cost strike. Okay, I need to get more defense for sure. Well, we'll neutralize this dude. All right, he's in 17. I still need more defense. Or do I just cast infinite blades? It's rough times. In turn. It's definitely uh, quite a bit more of a struggle than we had in the last run. Maybe I should just quit trying to build the fancy shiv deck. Uh, well, these cards cost all our garbage. I have like basic strikes. I don't even have a defend. All right, that one was some bad RNG, I feel. Is it even worth putting 99? vulnerable one here it probably is I guess we'll just put it on this dude I don't know I don't know I don't like snack oil probably not gonna take it anymore I didn't love the other alternatives though or was that like I don't know we got that somewhere was that even from the boss all I know is we got it I don't remember how we got it but we got it it looks nice when you got the zero cost, but it's not predictable at all. Okay, that's, uh, I guess that's nice. Did I turn right? Okay, and this dude's dead. Okay. It's, um, it's unpredictable. I think, like, in most kind of card games, and I'm sure it applies here, you want predictability. You don't, you want to get rid of a lot of the variants if you can. Not what I want to do. This, this one, please, thank you. You don't want so much variance that like you can't know what's going to happen and I think that's what Sneko is doing that being said it's pretty powerful it's just so much I don't know whatever let's do it this one and then we'll just strike I don't know maybe maybe I should finish the run with it before I decide that I don't like the Sneko eye it just kind of takes over the game when you play it I think Uh, well, I have an attack, but it's not going to do anything. Oh, he's going to run. Can I even hit him? I can't do enough damage to even hurt this dude. Like, it's only going to do 8 damage. He has 11 HP. I'm, he's just, he's just going to run. He's going to take some of my gold. That's fine. It's fine. Be that way. It's not really coming together. Oh, we got some of it back. Coil's Potion... Add some random stuff to your hand. Okay, sneaky strike prepared. I'll take the prepared, I guess. Okay. Okay. We were like this on the first floor with our last deck. We didn't really get stuff to come together. This time it's just not really coming together. Alright, we got some zero cost stuff. I'll allow it. Cloak and dagger. Got another zero cost defend in there. Don't think I didn't see that. This two unprepared is a little rough though. Do we play blur? I think we played blur. No, we didn't play blur. What am I thinking? In the turn. All right, bird friends, do your worst. Don't actually do your worst though. We got all kinds of blades up in here. At least they're reliable, right? Get your zero cost flying knee in here. Your zero cost dagger throw. Dude, it can be pretty good. I don't think we want that right now. Your blades dance for free. So, let's play acrobatics first, I guess. Uh, so, I don't... Huh, three for a new uh, strike. That's nice. Uh, so, we can just shiv this dude out of here. Well, 
It's not ideal. Well, we can just do it like this. What was I thinking? Uh, well laid plans. I don't think it, it's not even worth playing. Like, Sneko, it, it won't reset the cost with Sneko Eye. So I think it's just kind of like having a dead card in my deck. I think it's probably the worst card in my deck with that trinket. Of course, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh yeah, you, this dude does the daze thing. Uh, well, uh, I guess we're just going to defend. Do we just defend? We can't defend again. We'll just strike. Okay, we're taking. A, we're not taking damage. What am I thinking? Gotta get fancy on this run, I think. Gotta have some sort of miracle coming up, or we have to get real lucky. All right, standard cost neutralize. Shiv him. We play all the shivs. We get all the dazes. It's fine. We'll blur here. Making my skills not so skillful to uh, fight the bird wizard, man. He's dazing us, tasing us, talking dirty to us. You never know what he's going to do, man. He's just like that. All right, next turn, our stuff doubles. Could be great, could be not great. You never know. We'll just hit him. We'll do that because we can. Uh, guess that's it. I don't know what a Sneko is, but, you know, it's it's wild, boys. 21 damage. Why do we have 21 damage coming at us? Oh, I guess because he's super strong. Because I can't manage to do any damage to him. Oh, man. It's, uh, it's not going too good. So we'll play prepare, draw a card, discard a card. We'll just do that number. Uh, we'll defend. We'll shiv. Can we do anything else? So I guess we can defend again. Beautiful. Beautiful, boys. We're slowly chipping at him. I think he said this like one time to do like 40 damage. Okay. Lovely neutralize for standard cost here. I think he might be dead. He's, he's almost dead. He is in fact dead. It was an uphill battle, but we did manage to get there. All right, so do we want, what do we want? I think tools will be good if we're using snack a while, because we can get stuff that's good and discard stuff that's so high cast that we can't play it. I think we might die though. Uh. Day three on my infinite blades. Well, survivor's free on a turn. We don't really need it. Phantasmal killer. We want that. We'll play prepared. I was wondering what happened, but uh, is the wrong card. Okay. Do we want to play? I guess just a basic strike, right? That's all we can do. I can do this. They cost zero. They cost zero, right? I can upgrade all this stuff for one turn. That's how that works, right? Yeah, let's play this. Oh, it only hits like two cards. Never mind. Kind of bad. It didn't really do much. I guess it did a little bit, but it, I didn't play it correctly. Okay. Um, let's neutralize here again. We'll blur. It might come in good later. Tools of the trade. Start your turn. Draw a card. Then discard a card. I think that can come in handy. All right. We're slowly going to whittle this dude down. It might take centuries, but we're going to do it. Like I said earlier, tools of the trade will help us filter out garbage that we can't cast at all to hopefully get zero costing cast cards stuff like that you know all right i do have to discard a card acrobatics cost three don't think we'll be playing that all right 
Should I zero cost on the wizard man? Probably. It's going to take me years to kill him otherwise. Probably going to take me years anyway. Does defend cost zero. The blade dance is standard cost. Didn't I have my like double damage card this turn? Or am I crazy? Oh, so how much are they doing? 24? Is that 24? 25? Might as well defend there. We can do quite a bit more damage here like this, I think. I don't know. I'm just trying to get rid of the dude, okay? He is gone. Bid him farewell. We've gotten 16. Okay, we're not playing three for this. Zero cost struck. The neutralize is still worth. I think we still want to defend here. I think it's worth doing that too. Maybe not. We're definitely struggling a lot on this run. Quite a bit more than I was prepared for. Uh, three for that is too much, of course. Blur, acrobatics can come in handy. Do we just want to use it? Let's just play it. Okay, we got a three cost defend. We'll go ahead and toss that. Not what I wanted, cloak and dagger. Eight damage is pretty spicy. We getting damage in there now. Uh, I guess that's all we're done, though. Don't kill me. We need some more potions is what we need. We need a lot, actually. Okay, what are we ditching? This thing. All right, so this is, is this the turn we do double damage or is it last turn? I think it was last turn, I'm kind of crazy. Can we finish this, man? Thank you. I get a little bit lost in the sauce sometimes. Six damage for each skill in your hand. Um, we have a lot of skills, but I don't think I want to rely on that. Maybe I should. Piercing will. All enemies lose eight strength this turn. I don't know that I love this. Backflip can draw cards. Maybe I want it. Maybe I don't. I don't know. We're just kind of throwing shivs at stuff and hoping Snack OI works. I don't, I don't think it's my finest moment. All right, we're going to probably die to this elite. The Book of Stabbing is very upset with us. All right, well, we're going to play the free Infinite Blades and the free Cloak and Dagger. Get in there for some damage. I think we'll play the free survive, discarding the three cost neutralize. All right, so that goes the defensive part of the turn. Get your shivs in. Your free flying knee. How did I miss the free flying knee? You guys almost let me do that. I will defend because we can in turn. It wasn't a bad first turn. Not a bad first turn at all. You guys are just being negative. Anyway, Shiv. Prepared. I think the card filtering works out pretty well. With this kind of stuff going on. Three cost strike, he says. Should I even play that? Uh, zero defend. I think that's worth playing. We'll strike there. We're going to play this because it works with tools of the trade. We got, we got a little synergy coming up here. We're going to take so much damage. Hey, we, we got some synergy, but it's like, I don't know. It's it's not the kind of synergy we need. All right. Um, got to discard a card. Three, Terror. Oh, well, I could have probably just discarded the wound, but, you know, we'll get to that in a minute. Three, cost Black Flip. Blur. You shiv him. Acrobatics. Beautiful. Free strike. 
I, I think we might be able to make this work if we can just keep going through the deck. It's like a stupid fast rate. Uh, so we're just going to defend up a lot. Um, is it worth doubling our damage to take three damage? Probably. Uh, in the turn. Do I want to retain a card? Sure. We'll keep the basic defend that actually costs what it should. I mean, I guess you want to keep a card every turn, right? It just lets you have more room for discarding stuff. Alright, so neutralize, of course. How much damage can we get in here this time? Definitely not playing that. When you can double it with uh, all this cool stuff, it works out. Can we kill him this turn? No, of course not. Is this? This might be worth it anyway. He's doing, uh, what, 16 damage? Yeah. You like how you ask a question, just answer it yourself? I've, I've been known to do that. I guess we're just going to defend it and try to kill him next turn. He has 26 HP. It should be a thing we can do. It's probably not. We're going to probably have to take two turns to do this. I don't know if we're going to get past the second floor. It's, it's that bad, gentlemen. Alright, well, uh, get rid of this three cosplayed Zants. The Zero Terror might come in handy. Alright, so. Defend for free, of course. Of course. Acrobatics. That's for the wound. The cost is not being kind to us today. Alright, shiv him out. Can't do 8 damage. Can't do anything else, actually. Alright, in the turn, uh, we'll keep the 3 cost defend. You know I love a 3 cost defend. Like, it's uh, orders of magnitude difficult to take out the elites with this deck. The way I've got it right now. 3 cost... Come here. Thank you. Alright, flying knee. It's a beautiful thing. Ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns. So if I don't use it, it's great. Second all, draw five cards. Randomize the cost of cards in your hand. Well, that's just a free draw five because we've been doing that for years. Ice cream. Energy is now, conser is now conserved between turns. So if we don't need to use energy, let's not use it. Sucker punch, dagger spray. Do I have a dagger spray in my deck? I don't. Do I want to add one? Hell, I guess. It's upgraded too. Let's do it. I've heard ice cream's good. I don't know if it's good now, though. I was going to wonder if I could cast any of these any of these cards. Alright, well, we got Cloak and Dagger. You just start daggering the man. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of cards we can play. A lot of cards we can't, and I'm taking a ton of damage. It's just not reliable, man. Like, I, three energy to defend it all. I mean, I guess, uh... It's gonna have to, right? Nothing really else I can do. Okay. Um, we might lose this fight, to be fair. That was, um, a lot of damage. Okay. Your blades dance, because it's free, of course. That's the first thing you do. Probably defend. Because it's free. Tools of Trade's free. Alright. What do we do now, though? I really don't want to take, like... I mean, there's nothing we can do. I guess we can draw some random zero costs. No, well, we can, but it's just not going to matter. I guess it's worth doing. It's looking bleak. We're not going to get through this fight. It's been a while since I died to a random dude on the, the second floor. It's been a while. Alright, well, um... Do we draw anything we could do? No. Okay. Probably should have looked. I didn't even see that he wasn't attacking. 
I've, I've just been a little thrown off here. Uh, sure. All right, in the turn. Okay, we, we might not die to this dude because he just chooses not to attack. We can probably do 17 damage, right? I guess we're gonna have to from the look of it. Can we do 17 damage? I might have to just play this and get lucky. No, we have the prepared. Dude. I don't know if we can get out of this. I don't like Sneko Eye at all. If you can't tell. Um. Yeah. Did we just die to the random plant in the hallway? Well, uh, that's the thing. Oh, we got the zero cost strike. So that's cool. Uh, we got... Is he... No, he's one point down from dead, right? Oh, uh, he's got vulnerable. That didn't count for it. Dude, we got 15 health left. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's rough times. Do we want finisher? I don't think we can even use finisher with... Whatever. At least I can play the shivs. Toxic egg. Whenever you add a skill into your deck, upgrade it. That's good. I mean, I know ice cream's good. I, I have to go to the campfire to heal. I mean, I, I know ice cream's good. I wish I'd got it, like, last run. <laughs> this is very uh, sobering. I go from the high of the mountains of last run... To this and this is just not even like awful just not good I just I just don't like snack a while I guess that's what like at the end of the day the problem is I think that is the problem I think this lizard is gonna be our undoing in fact I pretty much know he's gonna be our undoing I've heard this guy can uh, get away with you oh he just confused us never mind we're gonna win well, as you know, we were already very confused. Uh, uh, no. There you go. And then you shiv. Do we go with, uh, dagger spray? We do. And then your blades dance. Or do you, you defend. You defend, right? Yeah, you defend. It's good, it's good play. We're gonna kill the snake lizard, I think. Maybe not. Uh, free terror. Free stuff's great. It's good analysis there for you. No, I want the survivor. Beautiful. I go. What was this skill? Uh, okay. Uh, bite is uh. We do another 22. Can we get there? Oh, we have to discard three cost strike. Sure. Dagger throw for free. Uh, three cost backflip. I don't know. I'm just not riding the high of the snack OI. Words are hard sometimes. Just It's just not doing it for me. Some people may love it, though. Can I do this and kill the dude? Can I get something to kill this dude? Yes. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. Okay. It serves me right. It serves me right. It's what I get. Okay, um, shiv him, shiv him, just shiv him, I don't even want to see the cards, I have to see the cards, okay, can I, can I shiv him, thank you, okay, blessing of the forge, upgrade card, or calls in your hand for the turn, I don't know what we're supposed to do, oh, this is a power, if we can actually use it, it's good, I guess, I, I don't even know, I'm just, I just work here, 
I really wish there was a way to trade like relics later. Whenever you, like the cost doesn't even matter now. What does this do? The effects of your cost X cards are increased by two. I don't have any of those. Um, what do we want here? I guess we'll remove a card. Is it even worth removing cards? Whatever. We'll remove a strike. Confirm. Right, Caltrops. I don't think that's good. Whatever. We'll take the Blades Dance. We'll take a Cloak and Dagger. I've got a theme deck coming here. I don't I don't care. I don't think Finisher's going to be good in our Sneko infested deck. Okay. Let's go to the random encounter. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is what I didn't want to see. Okay. Um... You get the free blur. The defend. Hopefully they'll carry over to something good next turn. I think you probably just play infinite blades because you can, you know, rely on getting blades for the rest of the turn. And then you just cry in a corner. I don't know. I will never take Sneko Eye again. It's not worth the extra cards. It's really not. Not in my book. My book may not be a great book. But for me, I don't think that anybody can ever sell me on that. Uh, footwork's good, right? Yeah. We got all kinds of dexterity. We're very dexterous. I'm just going to keep being dexterous. And you can't stop me. Free strike. There you go. Boom. What y'all birds going to do now? I guess they're gonna try to kill me. So we got we got some defensiveness going on here. Oh, we did. Okay. Okay. I have to discard a three cost strike. Right, free shiv. Free cloak and dagger. I can kill things. It just my brain doesn't work while I do it very well. Uh. Do we just three cost cloak and dagger again? I guess so. Can't even kill it. I think we'll just do something else with that guy. Alright, th this is proving very difficult. The random combats is. We'll probably live through this one and then die in the next fight. I've been I've been waiting for the day that we die to the random stuff for a while now though so maybe I'm wrong alright so we got all kinds of shivs just looking for the most efficient way that's probably what we're going to have to do alright weaken this man free blades dance is it worth terror here of course it's worth terror here can we finish him off can we finish him off? He could call it at me. We'll just, you know, he, he was defeated. Uh, did not draw a zero cost card in the turn. Take your 12 damage. All right, one bird left. What are we going to do with this bird? Unimaginable things. That sounded a little more spicy than it was supposed to. It's supposed to be a little spicy. I don't know if it's quite supposed to be that spicy. 15 damage coming at me, he says. Well, we're going to defend. Now we'll do the acrobatics for free. Three cost strike, you're gone. Cloak and dagger for free. Blur for free. I don't know, man. It's so, it's so highs and lows, ups and downs here. I just don't think I've got the heart for it. Like, when it works, it works. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work very well. Which I guess it's not really saying anything. But this is not my style. I can't rely on things. Shiv him. I, I keep forgetting that I cannot do that. Uh, sure. Shiv him. Uh, dagger him. Alright. He could call me. He's done. Everybody knows he's done. Okay. Uh, what do we do? 
This could be really good in a really awkward deck. This also could cost one or zero, so I think we should just take it. I, I think, um, maybe I'm just not doing it right. Maybe you just take like the most powerful broken cards that you could normally not ever cast and then play them. You dash. See, it already paid off. Why am I attacking Potato Lord? Blades Dance. You take out this thing. If I played better, he'd already be dead. Draw it. I don't even want to retain cards, I don't think, right? Take him out, draw a card. I don't want to even play that. I, th I probably should have taken out well-laid plans when I did the card removal instead of the strike, I wasn't thinking. Like, retaining the cards don't really help, I don't think. Uh, footwork for free. Uh, acrobatics. Okay, what do we got here? I'm not paying three for a cloak and dagger. Blade stands for three, you can do that. All right. I don't know what I just did. I clicked the wrong card, though. This is a good thing I didn't forfeit the whole turn. All right, we could do the terror here. Of course we're going to do the terror here. And to gain some more defense. There we go on that. I think we'll go for Phantasmal Killer next turn and try to go for the throat. Probably not going to happen. I'm sure he'll weather the storm. He's chewing on us. No big deal, of course. We, we just weathered the storm. That's what we do. I really think to like make a deck like this work, you just have to play so many draw cards and hope you get lucky. And I mean, maybe that's fun for some people. I mean, it's actually coming around to me a little bit here, just not really. Alright, so we got... Uh, this is backflip. We could blur, but I want to backflip and see if we can draw something fancy like this. Uh, sure, discard this. Play the Blades Dance. It's actually coming together better than I thought it was. There it is. Didn't think we were able to kill Potato Lord, but we did. I'm coming around on it a little bit. Still don't know about it. I want all the cards that draw cards. Also, I want the powerful cards. I don't, I don't even like that card, though. I'm taking the Blade Dance. I'm taking all the Blade Dances. Okay, I'm taking this campfire because it's warmer. I'm going to rest here. Okay, it does make you play so much difference. I don't remember what this dude is. I never remember what this dude is. Armor Man, we'll take you out. We have the power of randomness going on. Tools of the Trade is definitely worth here. This thing, that's not what I want. Don't accidentally play the three cost strike, please. The backflip, hit him with that. Draw some cards. I don't want to play those cards. Defend for zero, I guess. Um, one, draw... I need to take this out of my deck, I think. Because retaining the card doesn't... You know, play it. We'll retain footwork. It might be worth it. In turn, retain footwork. I think footwork costs two naturally anyway, though. Maybe it doesn't. Alright, so we got these dudes everywhere. What can we do to defeat them? I'm not paying three for a Blades Dance, of course. Um, uh, prepared. One for a neutralize. Do I even... Dude, it's rough times in here. Alright. Uh, dagger... Th Do we go for the other side? I think we're going to play that. Should we try to kill the dudes? I think we pretty much have to try to kill the dudes though, right? I think we have to. I think we have to, gentlemen. Alright, so, uh... Should I do this just to get one of these off? Maybe. Alright, so, 20 damage. Upgrade all our cards in hand. I didn't think about that. Uh, we can always do that 20 damage later. In the turn. Uh, footwork. I may eventually play it. Who knows? Can't prove anything. There's my terror. It's a good card. Wish I had that card in my hand. Do not. There's my dash. Could be good. You never know. We're embracing the randomness now. Uh, this is the worst randomness I've ever seen. What do I even do? 
I think your flip work. I think you. Uh, I think you just cloak and that. You, you dagger spray. What are you thinking? All right, so we can fire this dude. There's my ter there's my terror that I can't actually use. I don't think it's worth using this on terror. I think we'll use terror on this dude. I don't think it's worth just getting rid of the artifact. What we want, we'll keep blur again. Uh, he is strengthening himself. The other man is also strengthening him. What we get rid of? Three cost strike. Can't get time for that. Uh, we'll backflip and hopefully draw some good cards. Uh, what do we want to do? Can we take down the other dude? I don't think we can. I have a lot of cards in my hand, so let's just upgrade them all. Is it going to matter? Who knows? All right, free defend, free blades dance. Can I cast that yet? I don't know that I can. This will strike here. All right, so we can get rid of this dude. All right, beautiful stuff. Uh, you neutralize. You still got one more artifact, of course, and uh, I guess that's all we're doing. I don't really want to retain any of these cards. I guess Cloak and Dagger. Alright. We're taking one damage here. I don't actually understand why we're still even in like... How do we have a 3 cost Shiv? I don't know how we're even still like... In the conversation for winning the fight. I thought we would have died eons ago. To be fair, um, I guess we're getting lucky. It's part of it. Do we want infinite blades? Is it even worth? It's probably worth. It's going to take four turns to be equal to blade stance. I'm playing blade stance. I don't. Even, I don't even care. We probably had four turns to make it work. Um, what do I want? Uh, I, that's absolutely not what I'm going to use, I don't think. Maybe I should have used that instead. I don't know that it matters a lot. Okay, this guy's getting big chunky. 51 damage coming at me here real soon. Why would, is there a reason we're drawing shivs that I don't understand? Must be above my head, my learning, and my pay grade. Okay. Uh... Not getting very far here, are we? What do I even do? I guess I can blades dance. Uh, keep forgetting about my hand being full. Not good. This will survivor for like 14 block. And now we're just going to take 20 damage. The casual 20 damage. Whatever, we'll keep the strike. Here it is. Now I can say I've weathered the hyper beam. Can we do it again? Probably not. Uh, actually, we got the good randomness here. Probably don't want a two cost cloak and dagger. All right, so remember, you don't use blades dance too early because you can't use it right. Uh, two cost strike, you were trying to sneak over there. You blur. Dash. Uh, we want to use the Phantasmal Killer. Of course we do. Alright, now we can start doing shivs. Just hit him with all kinds of them, man. There's no rhyme or reason to it. We're just going to use things. Sure, we'll take the normal defend. Of course we will. I love the normal defend. So is this done for two turns there? Is that what happened? What are we discarding? Not paying two for neutralize. Flying knee. Dagger spray. Uh, defend. This is the random cost, man. Like I'm all I'm doing the whole video is just being like, 
All right, well, here's names of cards. Why am I drawing shivs? I don't, I don't understand. I've never seen drawn shivs before. I, I feel like I should know why I'm drawing shivs, but I don't. Oh, well, I probably should have defended there instead. Oh, we got the zero cost shiv. I almost missed it. Uh, we'll keep the casual defend. In hindsight, back in the day, I should have used the infinite blade so I didn't keep drawing it and not playing it. It would have been better to draw the other card. Nope. Uh, yeah. Hit him. Three cost strikes, boys. Guess we're doing that. We overpaid for it. Don't worry. No big deal. We'll, just, we'll play him. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I don't know how we've done it, but we're doing it. Will he be dead this turn? Only time will tell. If he is, then I will be pleasantly surprised, I suppose. Three cost blade dance. I got time for that. Uh, we'll backflip. About three cost shiv. Do I even play any of these cards? If I play these shift things, like I'm just going to end up discarding the shifts because I can't. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Okay, we can get three of them. Probably shouldn't have done that. I Man, I guess just blur me. Not taking damage. He's hitting me for a lot, but we got all kinds of block. Can we kill him yet? 15 years later? Apparently not. Okay, you're flying me. And now you blades. Oh, that was infinite nut blades, not the other one. Okay, that's a bad play. Just go the next turn. Just just go. I keep getting infinite blades and the other one that generates four to like at at the right then confused. But um we did cast it. Okay, discard three drop dagger spray. Alright, dagger throw. I have to discard one more card, right? Yes, beautiful. Shiv. Shiv. Um, free strike. Take him out. I feel like um, that took eons. I don't have a clue how we actually did that. All right, next, choose a card. Next turn, add three copies of that card to your hand, which are going to have random costs. You cannot draw additional cards this turn. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to zero this turn. Um, we do have a lot of shivs for Invenom. Bullet time, I can see it being used. I'm just going to take Invenom. Is it good? I have no clue. What do you got for me? During boss encounters, yeah, we used that last time. It was okay. Upcome, pick up, transform three cards, and upgrade them. Double the effectiveness of potions. I don't have any potions. Sure. I think it's worth it. All right, well, um, I don't know how in the world we've got here with this deck, but we'll see you on the next floor.